if you want to make the setup to for the depreciation box in Microsoft Dynamics C65, click Fixed Asset Module, Setup Area, then you find the box here for the depreciation box setup. Click New. For example, in my example, I will create two boxes. One book for the asset which will be available for depreciation. And another assets for the another book for the assets which will not calculate depreciation like land, like land or any other assets which are not available for depreciation. So the first one book it will be depreciation like this. It will be her depreciation. Book here calculate depreciation here if you select yes, which mean any fixed asset will link it will be linked to this fixed uh, to this book. The system will calculate depreciation will be available for calculation depreciation to this assets. If you click no, so if the assets which should be linked to the group will not be available for depreciation transactions. Okay. The most important here is the depreciation profile. What's the depreciation profile? Straight line service life or another one. Here, alternative depreciation profiles give you the option to select another depreciation profile. And then when you are run the depreciation monthly periodic depreciation, system will compare between the two depreciation profiles here and here. And the larger amount will be posted as a depreciation. Etc. Ordinary depreciation profile for uh, unusual cases like disaster, like this. Okay, round off depreciation if you want to round the depreciation amount. Okay, leave netbook value at you can leave with netbook value at one real or keep it. Okay, create depreciation adjustment with base adjustment. Yes, if you select this option, to this if you are making any adjustment to the fixed assets. The system will generate automatically depreciation adjustment transactions according to the adjustment value to the asset record. Okay, both to general ledger, yes. Both single account by default. Here you can, according to the purposes operation of tax by default current. Allow it book value higher than acquisition cost. It's a uh, no, by default, if you need to allow the net book value to be more than acquisition cost, you can click yes. Allow negative book value if you need to yes, you can click it. The most important for us is the calendar to select what is the calendar which should be selected. For example, this one or this one, whatever the calendar. And after that, click here. You can link this group with fix this fix with this depreciation book. This book, fixed asset book, with fixed asset group to be by default. So here, select the fixed asset group, for example, furniture. Okay, you see by default the depreciation came years. Okay, here, what is the safest life for the furniture, for example, four years or five years? So here, it will calculate the depreciation periods. Okay. And there the depreciation profiles, as you are seeing here, is came by default. Okay. After that, click save. If you need to link another group, you can click yes here, new, and select, for example, vehicles. Okay, the fixed asset group. And there is the same as life, for example, five years for the vehicles. So any asset will be created, it will take this. Default values, all these default values. When you create new fixed asset, give you the advantage to this. You can also edit the these values when you create new fixed asset. It will be available for editing. Okay. So now I created the depreciation book for the depreciation. If I need to create new book for non depreciation for the non depreciation assets, I will click none. Depreciation will be non depreciation assets. Here you will not select the calculate depreciation. Okay, 
And here also, if you need to select the position profile, you can select if not, will not matter. It will not case anything because there is no depreciation. If it's no whatever you did, there is no any uh, depreciation transaction for these assets and the calendar here if you need, okay? If you don't want, no issue. Once you finish, click save and close the screen. Thank you.